Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a problem design of a file where student grades will be saved and the name of the file will be registry.csv. So the whole mechanism will be, as we know that there are three types of file open type that are write file, read file, and append file. So there will be three, three different functions and I'm going to show you all these three things that happens in this file. So the mechanism will be the we will want from user what he wants to do with the file. If he wants to write file, then the write file uh, will be, and then that file will be open and uh, according to the given values, given data from the user, the, uh, the file will be written, the data will be written in that file. So let's start writing the functions. So uh, first of all, give choice for file open type then void print choices after that void three different functions that are write file read file and append file write file read file append file then there will be we have to open the file open file from console in this function it will check that whether the file even exists exists or not then open file from console and save student grade save student grade info Save student grade info to file and in the end there will be reading data from file. It's another function reading data from file. So that's the thing and one of the main thing in this uh, whole code is we have to use type def instead of struct. We know that the benefit of using type def is when we define the, in the data type, we don't need to repeat it inside the main. And if we name the data type, then we don't have to, we only have to use that keyword rather than using the keyword struct or type def. So the way we use it is type def, struct, and another thing is we need to write here what do we from uh, which file we want to open and for writing inside the file i'm naming it fp1 and open student grade it's also file fp1 it's for writing the file and it's for fp2 file fp2 that's it so I'm using here name struct student and inside this what will be there? There will be char name and the limit will be 50 then char id let it be 20 then integer score that's what we need and we are shown here that we need name, ID and score, name, ID and score. We have to store all these things inside the file. And naming this whole thing as student. So inside the main, we will use only the student instead of using the struct or type def. So that's the benefit of uh, using type definition. So now I'm going to write the main function. Can you do so? integer name okay so first of all what will it do it will print the choices because we want from the user to choose uh, what he wants to do with the file so first of all he will it will print choices and we are 
declaring the function below okay then we're taking an integer integer choice equals to give choice for a file open type control v now our, uh, now we will use an if else condition but better if we use switch that which one is going to choose switch choice okay so switch choice what will it do there will be different cases and there will be uh, four cases actually so let's see how it works okay case one it will be write file then break we know the syntax of using this case the switch we have to break each time case 2 will be read file then break then case 3 will be append file then break but what happens if there is no existence of the file? So there will be a default case, default, and in this default case, if the file is not present, it will print. Mm, maybe it print, I'm giving it if me too, it may print anything. I'm writing something went wrong. Okay, something went wrong. That's it. So this is our case and after that it will return 0 and here our main function ends. So now we have to, what we have to do, we have to write this function, we have to write all this function. So I'm just copying and pasting this. Control V. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write this function, print choices. So how will it print choices? It will give that if you want to, I'm writing like this. If you want to write file, press 1, press 1, then a new line, that's it. So I'm just copying it and making it functionable for read file and append file. So if you want to, here it will be read file. If you want to read file, press 2 because we have named it in the case 2 in case of read file and then case 3 and it will be append file. If you want to append or add data to file or add data to file press this it will return it what will it return it will return it will return nothing or return zero we can give both of the things so here is one of the function then what we are going to do i'm going to write the function of write file basically they are the same thing but uh, I just have to change some of the things and this will be first of all we have to open the file and I am pointing this to fp1 this will be fp1 equals to first of all we, I will open the file f open and the file will be opened at e drive I am selecting this you may give d drive 2 or c drive 2 the name of the file is registry.csv that's it and what I'm going to do is write represents as represented as W so that's it it will open the file then what will it do it will do this function open file from console open file from console then fp1 okay open file from console in bracket there will be fp1 it's pointing to fp1 then save student grade to file control c k to v save student grade to file and this is also for fp1 as we are reading the file 
and then it will F close the file. F close FP1. And the same thing will work for read file and append file. Let's see. For read file, there will be the same thing. And so for the append file, but we need to change something I'm showing you. In an append file, there will be the same thing. And this will be FP2. F open E register and for read file there will be R and these all things will be FP2 for read file FP2. Then FP2. And for append file there will be FP3. And for this will be A for append file. This will be FP3. This will be FP3. And this will be FP3 too. So that's it. We have written the functions. And now we have... Uh